My next you guest, everyone, says the Republican tax reform plan goes way beyond cutting taxes. He guarantees you that this plan will be a job-creating monster. Here to explain, the president of Americans for Tax Reform, Grover Norquist. Grover, good to see you. Good to be with you. So you like it? I do. It's very powerful, very pro-growth. All the incentives are there to make the United States much more competitive than we have been uh, in competing with countries overseas. Right now, we tax our businesses at 35 percent, socialist China at 25 percent. That's crazy. We've mm -hmm. got to quit doing that. This plan uh, le levels the playing field and puts the United States in a good position. Okay. So we'll be more competitive, much more competitive on the yeah. corporate front. What about on the individual front? Did you want to see more? Sure. Oh, oh yeah. But there's going to be a tax cut every year. The Republicans have the House, the Senate, and the presidency. Mm -hmm. I spoke with Speaker Ryan today, and he reiterated, we're going to have a tax cut every year. Mm -hmm. So whatever we don't get to this year, we'll keep coming back. Okay. Uh, but you've only got, you've only got so much space at every year's tax cut. Uh, and this one, they filled with a lot of very, very good pro-growth things. We've had weak economic growth over the last eight years. During It's been a recovery, technically. But at 2%, uh, Reagan's was over 4%. Uh, we need to speed up growth. We need to get incomes moving upward, not sideways. Uh, and that requires an awful lot of pro-growth tax reform. Let me ask you, though, about the top rate. Mm -hmm. no, no change in the top rate. So if you make more than a million dollars, you're still going to get penalized pretty heavily for that at 39.6%. Yeah. Uh, the president had promised to cut taxes for everyone. Do you see anything wrong in this right there, not actually giving a tax cut to everyone. Well, if, if you make half a million dollars today, you're paying 39.6. The 39.6 will continue, but it moves to a million dollars. So if you're making a million dollars, you'll actually see a, a, a tax cut because uh, you're paying the lower rate, not the 39.6, all the way up to a million. Mm -hmm. It's not a, a reduction in the marginal tax rate if you made more than a million dollars. Mm -hmm. Uh, but your tax burden will actually fall. All right. I would like to take that down to where nobody pays more than 25%. Uh, we were at 28% uh, under Reagan, and then we moved backwards. So we have a lot of work to do on that. But it, Well, and Grover, and I always say, look, you know, I'm sorry, but this is the harsh reality of it. Yeah. If you want to cut taxes, yeah. you have to cut taxes to the people that are actually paying taxes. Because let's yeah. not forget, nearly half the country isn't paying any federal income yeah. tax, Grover, at all. No, that's true. And look, the very cheerful news here is that we're going to have a tax cut that reduces taxes for everybody, both takes the rates down, doubles the standard deduction from $12,000 for a married yeah. couple up to twenty four. That's a, That means an no, awful I, I lot. I hear to you. There's a lot, lot of tax. good stuff in here. Yeah. And, and you know what? We need it. It's long overdue. But let me ask you about one of the, mm -hmm. one of the specifics, this whole salt sure. issue. Mm -hmm. Perhaps Kevin Brady is going to revisit this. Uh, he's talking about coming out with some additional details on Monday. But the plan right now is to not allow, say, New Yorkers or Californians mm -hmm. or anyone in New Jersey to be able to deduct what they're paying in state taxes, local taxes. And the fear, of course, is that it's going to be very uh, suffocating for some of these blue state economies because right now they get to deduct what they're paying in state. Right. Your thoughts? Right. Right now you can deduct property taxes and income taxes. Under the new rules, you won't be able to deduct your income taxes, state income taxes, but up to $10,000 for property taxes. So retired people without much income but a big state uh, property tax, they'll, be, uh, they'll do well. This solves the problem for most Republicans in blue states because they live in more rural areas, suburban areas, where you have some retired people that are hit. But on the income tax, it is New York's fault that their personal income tax is so high in New York. It is California's fault that their personal income tax at the state level is so high. Ditto New Jersey. Mm -hmm. If you live in those states, get a competent governor. <laughs> You know, I've quoted this before. I like when Warren Buffett says, you can always see who's swimming naked when the tide goes out, right? The, the tide's going out here, and we may see which yeah. states are swimming naked when it comes to uh, what kind of tax policy they have. They can, they can change can that can either, very I guess, quickly. get a new governor or you move. I yeah. keep joking. We ought to set up a studio in New Hampshire. <laughs> Grover, yeah. thank you so much. Good to see you.